stay safe, stay active and stay healthy. <laughs>
not too far away, about a metre, metre half away. They're going to be standing sideways on in their ready position when they have a go at pushing the ball. And we've done this already, pushing. And the ball is going to travel along the ground because it's called floor tennis. And the person they're pushing to is going to watch the ball with their eyes. So track the ball. They're then going to squish it with their racket like a tomato and then gently push it back. Now it's a rally, so they're gonna cooperate and work together as a team to see how many pushes they can do in a row in a moment. But let's just have a go if we can make sure we know what to do. So xanthi has got the ball first, so she's gonna start with the ball on the floor to serve and she's gonna gently push the ball along the ground and Athena's gonna squish it like a tomato and push it back, good. Try not to push it too hard because you're working together as a team, okay? So nice and gentle. And remember, if you wanna help your partner, try and push it on the side their racket is. Take your time, girls, because, oh, it's moved. <laughs> we want to get a nice rally going to show everybody. So start sideways on in your ready position, Athena. You can hold the racket in one hand or two, it's up to you. So the hut hand that you hold your pen in, and then you might want a second hand to control it more, depending on what equipment you're using. Take your time, Athena. Squash it, push it. So two actions, squash first, then push. Right, Athena looking up. So squash it, push it. Good job. Squash it, push it. Ooh. Good try. Remember, try and push it on the side her racket is. Gently. Okay, after a little while of having a go at this and making sure you're working as a team, the challenge would be to see how many pushes in a row you can make to create a rally. So what do you think we could do? What would be a, a, a target? Five. five. So the challenge, five. well, let's start with five first so it's not too tricky. So let's see if we can work together as a team to push five times in a row so the ball can't go past us. So gently, Zanthi. Now that's one. Two. Three, four, five. They so managed five in a row. Good teamwork, girls. Right, yeah, so that could be the next challenge. Maybe it's six or seven, but they're going to go for ten. They were a little bit closer together as well there, so you could challenge the children to move a little bit further apart as well, so it's not too easy. Right, ten in a row is the challenge, girls. Off you go. Start with a push. One, two, three. Four. You counting, Athena? Five. Six. Six. Don't forget to make sure your body's sideways on. You don't want your feet in the way. Ten. Ten. Yeah, well done. I Eleven. Eleven. Even beat our target. I definitely think the next challenge for the girls would be to move further away. So if you want to stop the video there and have a go at some floor tennis rallies to see if you can beat your personal best. Hi, welcome back. Hopefully, hopefully you enjoyed having a go at your floor tennis rally and hopefully you're managing to beat your personal best so to get more pushes in a row. We're going to continue thinking about doing some floor tennis but we're going to have a go at using our hands as a racket this time. So we're going to have a go at pushing the ball along the floor so ideally you need sort of a hard surface and we're going to use a slightly larger ball for this one so it's a little bit easier for the children to control. So if you've kind of got a medium sized ball you might find a little a bit easier than a tennis ball. So for this activity, my daughter Athena, who's in reception, is going to stand facing me. If you want to stand in that space, Athena. And what we're going to do, and I'm going to really make sure I help Athena by pushing it the side that her racket would be. So could you stand in your ready position, Athena? So turn your feet sideways, that's it, and come forward a little bit so we can see you. Lovely. And she's got her right hand, the hand that she holds her pen in, ready to be able to push the ball when it comes to water. I'm going to start by placing the ball on the floor and gently pushing with my racket hand as well and she's going to watch the ball with her eyes and try and time her push back to me so we can keep it going. Excellent. Right. To help Athena I'm always going to push it on the side her racket is. Good girl and if she has to move her feet to get in the right position doing a really good job there. Oh good try I'm just going to move it a little bit away from the door. Move back a tiny bit sweetheart. Push. Good. Oh, good try. Let's have one more go. Oh, try and push through it. Oh, that's it. Concentrate, sweetheart. Excellent. Lovely push. Awesome. That was a really good example. Well done, Athena. And you can see how many pushes in a row you can have a go at doing in your hand tennis. So
So if you want to pause the video there and have a go to see if you can use your hand as a racket to push the ball. Hi, welcome back. Hopefully you enjoyed using your hand to push the ball as a racket. This is now our last activity and we're going to kind of fuse together what we've been doing with tennis and what we've been doing with cricket. So for this activity, it would be great if you had three people, but you can easily do it with two as well. So one person is going to be doing the hitting with the racket that you're using. So whether you're continue, continuing to use your sort of garden tennis racket or your frying pan or your lid. And you'll also now need lots of rolled up socks that use as balls because they're a little bit easier to hit than sort of tennis balls. And something you're going to use to put your socks in. So we've just got a bin. So we've got kind of seven or eight pairs of rolled up socks to make balls a racket or something we're going to use as a racket and somewhere we're going to put the balls our bin. Lastly, we've got two markers where the batter or, um, or the striker is going to be running to all, between. So what's going to happen is one person is going to have a go at throwing the ball or the socks gently underarm towards the side that they're holding their racket to make it easier for them. They're going to have a go at hitting the, the socks. OK, it doesn't matter if they miss it. It's not the end of the world because they're going to have seven or eight or even more opportunities to make contact with the socks. Once they have hit all of the socks, they're going to be running between our two marker cones. Meanwhile, the, the bowler and or any fielders that are playing as well are going to collect all, as many of the socks as they can, as quickly as they can and place them inside of the bin. When all of the socks are inside of the bin, the runner or the batter can't make any more runs and they're going to see how many runs they can do in that time. So again, it takes some teamwork from the fielders like we did in cricket to work together to collect them as quickly as they can. The person that's doing the batting need to make sure they're in their ready position, holding the, the racket in one or both hands. OK, and really keeping their eyes on the socks and seeing if they can strike it to hit it into space. Right, are we ready, team? So I'm going to bowl to start with, um, and Daphne is going to be doing the hitting, and Athena is going to be helping me out with fielding. So, real gentle underarm throw, doesn't matter if you miss it, just get ready for the next one. I like your ready position there, Daphne, and holding the racket with two hands, keeping her eyes on the prize. Oh, good try, swung a little bit early. Good one. Try and follow through, good. Don't always follow through over there, otherwise all of them are going to go over there. Good try. Move back a little bit. Move back a little bit. Good girl. Keep that way. That's it. Good try. Last one. Then you can run. Go. Let's go, Athena. Let's collect some of those socks. Keep a score of how many runs, Sandy. Keep going, Athena. The last one. All in. And stop, how many runs? Ten. Ten, awesome. So that we could have another go to see if she can beat her personal best or we swap over. So this time, Athena's gonna have a go at the hitting. That you're gonna field and I'm gonna bowl. So let's see that ready position, Athena. Okay, she can have one or two hands on the racket and keep your eyes on those socks. Right, spread out, Zanthi. Oh, good try. Don't worry if you miss it, there's lots of goes. Good girl. Good try. Don't swing too soon. Watch. Good girl. Good. Try and strike it as far as you can. Good. That was hard. Those socks are light. Go. Run, run, run. Keep going, Zanthi. Six. Six runs and some good fields in there as well. So again, you can swap it round or have the children have a go a number of times to try and beat their personal best. And the more practice you give them, the more opportunities that they're going to probably be able to make contact with their racket and the ball. OK, so that's our last tennis lesson. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope your skills are improving. And next term, we're going to be having a go at some athletics activities. And remember, stay safe. Stay active, stay healthy.